Today I will show you how to make this crazy slow shutter effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of Netspan from The Osamason and Netspan with Joel's music video. And the first thing we can do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment arc. And for this effect, you will just want to find a space where you want the slow share to happen. So I found it like from here to here would be a pretty cool part because here is like a little transition. Slow shares are very good to use for transitions or just for some random effects. So I'm going to press Ctrl Shift D to cut the adjustment layer here and I'm going to go here. And press Ctrl Shift D and delete here again. And the first effect we're going to add here is going to be echo. This effect is like basically the main slow share effect. And what I like to do here is I like to mess around with the echo operators. But the one I love the most is the maximum. And this one I use most of the time. And I like to set the number of echoes to eight, but it varies a lot. Already it looks very cool like that. And I also like to tweak the decay to 0.89 to just make it a bit lower. That looks cool, but you can keep it at one if you liked it. Now what I like to do is I like to actually slow the frame of this because if you see it's not like a slow share effect uh, but i want to make it a slow share so i'm going to add polarized time below this effect and as you can see i have a frame rate of 24 fps so i'm going to actually make this four times lower so it's going to be six for you it might be different but i like six uh another one i like is eight and if you want to make it like really slow you can make it to four and this is also used in a lot of the music videos but i actually like to do it to six so this is how it's going to look and to make the slow share even crazier, we can add an effect called S Flicker. Now for this, you do need the Sapphire plugin, but don't worry, it's not just the S Flicker that will be changing. So in the S Flicker, I like to change the amplitude like very high to like 0 0.63. And this will basically make the exposure flicker like high, low, you know. And I also like to change the echo sometimes to like seven. This is what I did in the intro of the video, but here I love to change the decay to 9.11. Now here is my favorite slow share effect, an insane slow share effect. It basically flickers. And I would also like to let you know that I have a video editing website called Puikas.com where I sell video editing assets such as my opium presets packs or my VHS packs. So I would really recommend to check them out because I've been using them in a lot of my edits and they have been saving me a lot of time and people have been asking me how do I make the effects? Well, it's usually with my presets packs. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.